Good morning, guys. Day number two of my hunt. We're getting a, I'd say maybe like a little bit of a late start. It's not a big deal just because we got an all day hike. Sunrise is super cool this morning. David, Jordan, and myself. Jordan's eating Mount Ops Power Balls. Yeah, Mount Ops Power Balls made by my wife. Delicious. So our plan is to make an all day hike if, if we need to. Get up on some high points and be glassing down into the valleys. And then if there's nothing at that first point, we'll go down in the valley and just start to like motor and hike over a bunch of little um, sagebrush hills with like aspen draws. It's really cool country and I think it's holding a lot of deer right now. So I think we're gonna see a lot of rut action today. Here we go guys. David just spotted this three point on this snowy hill. He's rutting a doe pretty hard. Really pretty three by three frame with front forks. Not a big old mature buck, so we're gonna keep looking, but it's looking good. If the deer are moving in this wind, that's a good sign. Those guys are pulled off into the timber. I think a lot of deer might be in the trees today, but that's all right. We'll weed them out of the thick stuff. Well, still no shooter buck, but about 50 elk just ran out. We get them on the big camera right here. A whole pile of them. Talk about a migration. <laughs> for the big bulls to come out. He just bugled and the tail started running. Yeah, something bugled up there. There's, no, there's a whole bunch of them still there. top that are just ones, twos that keep coming. Yeah, they're just filing down right in front of the tree. Down, right in front of tree. Cows, dude. Yeah, that's cool. We'll let this video roll for you guys so you can check out all these elk. Well, we've spotted a couple nice bucks, but no shooters yet. There's a three point down there, the one with long beams. We saw him miles away from here. It's crazy to see him again. Just glassed up a really nice buck. Looks to be a straight four typical frame and he's just beyond some other hunters. Just an all around great buck, big fronts, not as deep in the back forks, but really nice front forks. And uh, <laughs> he might, he might bed down right there. He's been kicking snow. Yeah, I think he's gonna bed down. Yep. Well, we're gonna go take a closer look at that bedded buck. I know he's good. It's one of those borderline bucks where you're like, should I shoot it? Should I wait? But we got this elk that's a group of like 50 elk, the ones we showed you earlier, causing a problem. They're stirring everything up. They keep getting bumped north and south. And they just don't want to go west because there's a truck down there driving around watching them. But they keep blowing out deer all over. <laughs> uh, the hardest part is trying to navigate through all the other animals around here. There's a lot of them. But let's go see if we can get ice on this buck. We're getting closer. I know he's a solid, solid buck, but where he's bedded, there's a bunch of brush behind him. It's hard to say, but I know what Jordan thinks. Shoot him. He's a nice buck, but obviously this took a while for Eric to draw, so I understand the, uh, you know, hesitation, but I just we buck for a closer look. We're just gonna keep getting closer and closer we're gonna and, see. until he tries to run over the hill, then I'll probably shoot him like, he's getting away. He's in a perfect spot right now. Yeah, you can see him with our eyeballs. You got a range finder. Yep. 596 yards. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's too far for me. So we gotta close that distance. We gotta close the gap. The good thing is his attention is down on these other hunters that are dragging out a buck. So I think we're good to move forward. Should we go? Yeah. Let's go. Sure is nice to get off those ridges, out of the wind. This little draw right here, it's a high traffic. Wish I had a stealth camera put up up here, try to get some mule deer rut action on the camera. Easy. A little bit muddy back there. It's the worst drought ever, <laughs> my boots are dry. 
Don't worry about it, dude. He's got Gore-Tex, Crispy. He's got it. They got it all figured out. Every little ridge we go over, we seem to see new deer, so we'll just hope that the next one's holding the big one. But look at all this. There's even some... Oh! Yeah, that's probably my worst route ever. <laughs> Across the marshland. Whoa. Whoa. All right guys, I just got done <clears throat> cutting the vlog from today and I've got to be honest, I had to basically ax everything from uh, Casey's camera and B-Max's camera because the wind was so bad. I sat here and edited a bunch of mine just to try to make it better for you, but where I was wasn't as windy as theirs. And I know how frustrating it is to watch video when the wind is going berserk. So we definitely need to invest in a better mic and a dead cat uh, for the vlog cameras that they carry around so I was gonna put it in there for you guys but decided just to cut it out uh, to save you the pain in your ear because <laughs> I've been listening into these bad boys all night they had a slow evening we had a slow evening I didn't film anything in the evening because it was so windy up where we were and we did, we saw zero deer but uh, I know tomorrow it's supposed to storm and then I'm really banking on Saturday and Sunday being the best two days out of this hunt so I just left you guys with a little bit of uh, live footage there. We, we got into some deer that were rutting, which was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, I don't even, I'm not even that motivated tomorrow. Looking at the forecast, it's supposed to be so windy. But anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to give this to B-Mac and let him tell you a little bit about his evening hunt. So here you go. So today, this evening hunt was tough. We all, uh, myself, Ben and Casey took a big three mile loop in a new area that somebody, uh, friend of mine suggested and we saw exactly zero deer and then Eric and Jordan and Dave went to another area and they saw zero deer so double goose egg for the evening hunt it's super windy because the storm is going to be blowing in and that probably didn't help our odds any but we're back at uh, the cabin cooking some dinner hanging out and optimistic about the storm that's approaching. Tomorrow's supposed to be windy too and kind of nasty and then it's supposed to snow. So hopefully, cross our fingers, we get some snow. But we gotta stay positive. It only takes that one moment to find the deer that we're looking for. Um, but yeah, today was kind of a bust this evening, which is a bit of a bummer.